Hey guys, so a lot of you were asking for a halter tutorial, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to make a halter for a Schleich model. So the materials you're going to need are a cutting surface slash an area that you're not going to mind. Like I have this cap that I put glue in. And super glue or a strong glue. A pair of scissors. I have these really small fabric cutting scissors. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. This small paintbrush that I use for applying glue. A pair of tweezers are really helpful. I get my materials from a website called Rio Rondo. You will need two of these, one of these, and one of these. You will also need three jump rings. I'm also going to need some thin leather lace. So the first thing that I do is attach the leather lace to one of these pieces right here. What I do is I take this piece of leather lace, I take my exact knife, and I will just take a little bit of the leather off to make it less thick, and then I just cut it diagonally like this, just to make it a little bit smaller so it's easier to get through the hole. So now I just put it through one of the pieces and I fold it over. Then I put um, glue in this little container here and I will use my brush and take a little bit of glue on my brush and then apply it where it needs to go where I fold it over the piece of leather. And I'll take that leather, press it over, and then hold it with my tweezers for, I'd say, less than a minute just to get it to dry and hold so it's secure. So now I go to my model to know how long the nose piece will be, and you want it to be about here on this side, and then go around to about the same side on the other side but you want it to be a little bit longer than where you want it to be so that you can fold a piece of leather over. So now it should look just like this. You have one piece attached. And now I will do the same thing that I just did to the other side. pieces on each side to make a loop that will connect at a jump ring in the center of the back. So we'll do this by doing the same thing that we have done with the X-Acto knife. This is a little hard to show but the part here this strap coming off, we're going to have another strap coming off, this buckle here, and they're going to meet in the middle around a jump ring. But you want to make it a little longer than halfway so you can fold it around the jump ring. So now we're going to add another small strap like this onto the other side. Okay, so now you want to cut down each of these ends so that you can fold it around the jump ring. So now it should look like this. So now you should have something that looks like this. Make sure that it fits around your horse's face. Next, we will add two straps from the top of this buckle up and connect it to a jump ring. And we will do the same on this side. Now you should have something that looks like this. So now you want to cut it around here a little longer than where you want the ring to be so that you can fold it over. Now you should have something that looks like this. 
the same length. Now, you should have something that looks like this. I shaved down both the ends to wrap around the jump ring. Repeat this on the other side. Next, I will add a piece from this part, this jump ring, up to the back that will later attach to the cheek strap that will come around and attach to the other jump ring. Now you should have something that looks like this. Put the halter back on your horse from the back of the chin. Now take a piece about this big and cut it down really flat. Thread it through your buckle, through this middle piece. Now you should have something like this. Now you need to attach it to this side. From this jump ring, we're gonna add the cheek strap, which will come attached to this piece and then hook on to the other jump ring with the utility buckle. Put the halter on your horse. And now we are going to, from this position, when this is straight, take this piece and attach it under the chin. jump ring because it will be folded over into a utility hook. Next, take another piece of leather lace, loop it through, now you should have something that looks like this. Scrape down this piece that attaches to the cheek strap. Take it and take your utility hook. You should be able to take it on and off when you're taking it off of a horse. Now you should have something that looks like this. Next, take the connected strap, fold it over the head, and measure how long it has to be.
final product should look something like this. Okay guys, I know that video was a little hard to follow, um, and everything is really, really small. As you can see, this halter is tiny, and the buckles are incredibly, incredibly small. They're not working out for you the way that you want them to. It takes a lot of practice and a ton of patience. I've been working on this for half an hour just to make one bridle. So be patient and just go to the video and um, you should be able to be successful eventually. So tag me in any photos of the halter that you end up making and I can't wait to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye.